Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate whether the Realme GT Neo 3 actually supports 4G plus carrier aggregation or not. So that's what I'm going to talk about, but that particular topic in this video, because I'm getting so many comments asking me to make a video as well regarding the carrier aggregation, will this be supported in the Realme GT Neo 3 or not? So let's find out in this video exactly. Right now, I'll be using with the RS Monitor application to demonstrate whether the phone is actually showing any kind of 4G plus aggregation or not. Right now, as you can see, this RS Monitor application, and I'm trying to use a Geo 4G SIM card exactly right now. As you can see, Geo 4G SIM card, and at this moment, I'm not getting any kind of carrier aggregation right now. So you can clearly see. As you can see, friends, clearly you are getting the carrier aggregation to CA, and on the top of the notification panel, so you're getting 4G plus signal. Let me just slightly zoom in, so you might be able to see it. As you can see, 4G plus small signal is visible on the top side. So friends, Realme GT Neo 3 actually supports 4G plus carrier aggregation without any kind of problem and regarding the band frequency, I did get up to 3cc as well. So let me just show you the screenshot which I have taken exactly in this device. As you can see clear, clearly, 3 band frequency it was able to connect and there is also 2 band frequency also it was able to connect and 4 bands I did not get at this moment. Maybe if I had to go outside my home, I might be able to get in the outdoor but indoors these are the 2cc and 3cc I was able to get in this device and let's do the quick speed test as well regarding the 4G plus and don't worry I'll let you do the separate comparison as well with other smartphones regarding the overall speed test comparison to check which phone is really good regarding the speed test so this is a quick speed test and overall this phone actually supports carrier aggregation without any kind of issues no problem at all so right now I'm trying to use it with a geo sim card and still I'm getting 4G plus signs. That's a pretty good sign. That's it friends. Thank you for watching and straight up more updates. In case if you want me to do any other 4G plus speed test comparison, let me know in the comments. I can definitely do the 4G plus speed test comparison with other smartphones as well. And meanwhile, signing off and please follow the playlist for more details on the Realme GT Neo 3. In case if you're having any other doubts on this device. Until then, signing off friends. Thank you for watching and bye.